Guys, boy do I have a story for you. Sorry, it's been a while since I've uh, done our vlog. Pastor Jim has been way more faithful than me. Um, but uh, I, have, I have a crazy story. So uh, Tuesday, um, right? Wait, uh, back up. Um, the last several Sundays, we've been, uh, Sunday nights especially, on prayer meetings, we've been praying for the salvation of lost people. We've just been praying that God would send us lost people. Not only that, but that he would save them. It's been uh, since February since we've had anyone be baptized. And so we're just kind of hurting for God to use us in that great way. And and it hasn't happened um, in a while. So we've been praying that. Um, and uh, I've been I've been praying for my one, like I know all of you guys um, have been doing. And I just, I want to share you this. So uh, my one came to church uh, last week at Awana. Um, he and his three daughters, all right, uh, all came to Awana. And while they were in Awana, um, I did a little Bible study with him and a few other parents, you know, and you're like, I didn't know we had a Bible study during Awana. Me neither. Uh, but, uh, we had one, uh, when he was here. So, um, I shared the gospel with him. Uh, it's the first time he'd really heard it. Uh, and, uh, he, he was really interested and, and I had two other new believers from our church there with him, uh, Johnny, Giovanni, who were just baptized in the last two years, also sharing their testimonies with him. It was really powerful. He left, and, and I thought, man, he's he's really considering. He's really close. Um, you know, kept up with him throughout the next few days. He wasn't able to come to church. Uh, he ended up having to work. Um, but uh, Tuesday, so this, this week on Tuesday, um, you know, I get up in the morning, and I'm praying, I'm praying for Trey, I'm praying for him every day. And uh, to the point where I'm just like, man, Lord, I want you to do something. And I, you know, I, I, I was reading Isaiah 64, sent um, Trey my insights from that. I've been texting him scripture passages every day, along with uh, the stuff I send my, my dad and, and, uh, and my wife. Um, and I take the kids to school that morning. Because he, uh, him and his girls go to the same school. As actually, the whole reason that he is my one is because Naima's one is her uh, classmate Eliana, who is his daughter. Um, and because she took the initiative, like this is gonna be my one, Dad. I was like, all right, well, I'll make her dad my one. And then you know, this whole relationship sprouts out out of it. Anyway, we go to the, we go to school in the morning, go to the parking lot. The kids go out, get, get out and go towards um, the you know the front gate. And I see Trey pulling in with his his daughters in his car. Uh, he sees me. His daughters get out. He looks at me. He's like, hey, I'm going to come over there. So he pulls around instead of leaving the, the church parking lot. He comes around parks next to me. And uh, and I and I sit and I kind of lean over the window. I'm like, hey, how you doing? And so we talk about some of the struggles he's been having. And, uh, and just a few minutes into that conversation, I was like, hey, what do you think about the stuff we've been talking about? What do you think about this whole God thing? What do you think about it? And this guy says, I think I got to do it. I've got to do it. I would, I was like, what? Um, I mean, uh, and so I, I, I went, do you, do you know how, do you know how to give your life to Christ? No, I don't have, I have no clue at all. I was like, well, I'll go help you. And so I opened up this pastor seat door and I, and I, and I, and I, and I sat down next to him in the shotgun and right there. In his van, we start talking about things of God. I share the gospel with him again. I tell him about what, 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 uh, what, how to, how to pray to receive Christ, and just some things to be aware of. And this guy becomes a child of God in our school parking lot. Um, prays to receive Christ. A great simple prayer of like, God, I have all this sin. I need you to forgive me, and um, please take over my life. And uh, and he just I felt this weight come off of my shoulders. So we talked in the car for about like another hour in there. Yeah, I was supposed to be somewhere in the office. But, I mean, if if this ain't my job as a pastor, I know what is. So uh, we had a great time talking about the things of God. He becomes a child of God right there in the parking lot. Isn't that amazing? Um, I know you're quaking in your boots right now, but listen to this. But here's the even crazier thing. I got back to the office, and I was like, what was it that I sent to him that morning? Because now I really want to know, because I don't even remember. So... I, I, I pull it up. You'll never believe this. So I, I, I sent him Isaiah 64, 1 through 5, okay? Uh, and this is what it says. Oh, that you would rend the heavens and come down, that the mountains might quake at your presence, as when fire kindles brushwood, and the fire causes water to boil, to make your name known to your adversaries, and that the nations might tremble at your presence. When you did 
awesome things that we did not look for. You came down and the mountains quaked at your presence. From of old, no one has heard or perceived by the ear. No one has seen a God beside you who acts for those who wait for him. You meet him with joyfully, who joyfully works righteousness, those who remember you in your ways. This is what I wrote. So, you know, I send him the verses, and then, and, then, um, and then I give him my insight. This is the devotion I wrote for him. The morning of his salvation. Not having, I mean, there's no way I could have known what was going to happen. This is what God puts on my heart. Man's greatest task on earth is to make God's name known. It's right from, you know, right from this passage. When the believer sees the Lord reveal himself in different ways, he cannot help but shout for joy. The reality is that God is incredible. There is no God like him. He doesn't have an equal, he has no opponent, and he needs no invitation. Oh, that God would show himself so powerfully to those in my life who do not know him. I would that he would be so clear to the lost around me who live like he does not see. I know he is constantly doing it through nature, but he's also doing it through his word. This is why I must constantly be on mission to this world. So that, get this, so when the Lord reveals himself to those who do not know him, I am there when it happens. Until then, I wait and joyfully work righteousness where I can and remember him where I can't. You know, I, 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 I asked him, I was like, did you read this? This morning is like, dude, I hadn't even, my phone's been off. I, it's been dead this whole time. I got to charge and, and I just, I just charged it and I just saw it. Like God knew exactly what was going to happen. Um, and, and he had us read scripture that was actually speaking to this. I mean, when you did awesome things, we didn't look for, and I'm praying God, please, you know, use me powerful and powerfully in my community. And God's like, yeah, no problem. I'm just going to, you're just going to do normal stuff, taking your kids to school. And all of a sudden lives are changed. So, wow. What an awesome testimony. Uh, his girls love church. Uh, you people who have put on a wanna. They're blown away. His girls have never been to never been to church, and they love it. He's got a fifth grader and a, a first grader and a three year old, and they just they love it. They love they love it. Um, so thank you for being an awesome church. I pray that they are there this Sunday. I got some pretty awesome news this Sunday. I can't wait to tell you. I can tell you now, um, but I'll tell you then. Um, and just want to let you know, hey, God is in the business of doing things we did not look for. Awesome things that we did not look for even saving people in an elementary school parking lot. I'll see you Sunday.